This Texas audit was announced literally hours after Trump pushed Governor Abbott to do it. Why is he giving into this? Well, uh, thanks for having me, Stephanie. Well, let, let me just explain for your viewers sort of what happened in the last 24 hours here. So President Trump puts out a thing saying, I demand an audit of the Texas of elections and, you know, continuing the big lie about fraud. There is no secretary of state right now. So he demands the governor's only staff at the secretary of state. Within hours, as you say, the staff of the secretary of state put out a memo saying they're going to audit four counties. Harris, which is Houston, Biden won. Dallas, which Biden won. Tarrant, which is Fort Worth, Biden won, and Collin County, which Biden did way better than expected. It's a suburban county north of Dallas. And so they're auditing those four counties. It's no, you can't, you know, there's no mystery of why they're doing those four counties because they're aimed at Democrats, not aimed at finding out objective data in this. But there is not a single piece of evidence in this that points to why you would audit Texas or specifically why we dotted those counties. And it's just a continuing, it's a continuing thing that they're doing by Governor Abbott, who's become craven to Donald Trump in all of this, to undermine the trust of the election and to actually impact voting rights, which he's already done with legislation this past session. How dangerous is it that this is happening in another state nearly one year after the election, even if the results yet again confirm that Biden won? How dangerous is it, Matt, that it's happening? It's incredibly dangerous because there are a group of voters out there that are susceptible to believe the lies of Donald Trump and the lies of Greg Abbott. And even though there's no facts or no truth that, that supports it at all, they believe that. And so I actually feel, in many ways, feel bad for these voters because Governor Abbott doesn't respect them. He doesn't tell them the truth. He's not honest with them. The voters then believe that, and then they act out upon that. And so I think it's incredibly bad. Our democracy is already in a fragile point. And in my, in my view, is broken in many different ways. This only is going to add to the brokenness. And I think it's fundamentally at the point of voting, as you know, Stephanie, is the only way is that people can hold their leaders accountable. And because the Republicans have pushed very unpopular policies, which they know, especially here in Texas, what do they want to do? They want to make it not only harder to vote, but they want people to distrust the election results.